Hey friends, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will talk about a couple of uh, frequently asked questions in Splunk interviews. Okay, so uh, very first question everybody gets when you start the interview is uh, introducing yourself, right? Uh, at uh, I mean, when you are introducing your, yourself, you have to uh, talk about your responsibilities as well. I mean, the interviewer will ask you to talk about your responsibilities, right? So you talk about your responsibilities, and then you you know start slowly what are your strengths what are your uh, what are you good at so these sort of things and after that uh, you know the second question is it depends it depends on interviewer if he asks you to asks you to talk about your uh, current environment or the kind of uh, work that you're doing currently in the project right so you have to take the uh, uh, question accordingly okay depends on the interview but anyway the first question uh, is you know uh, like uh, responsibilities of yours in the current project is a fixed question so you have to answer that whatever the responsibilities that you are working you have to talk about it okay that is first thing first question in fact second is it's like a uh, uh, frequently asked question i'm talking about maybe it is not the same questions will be asked but frequently uh, you know these questions have been asking in lot of interviews okay like uh, one of the question is data onboarding Okay, how do you onboard the data using universal forwarder or you know using the backend process, right? So data onboarding is a really important question, and you know talk about the source file name, index name. Okay, so you uh, how do you onboard the data? How do you uh, convert the CSV file? And these things you have to talk about. The question is, data onboarding is very very uh, frequently asked question. Now the next question is clustering, right? Uh, when I talk about clustering in Splunk, you have index clustering and you also have a search at clustering, right? So, uh, so be prepared for this because this is also one of the frequently asked question. Talk about search at clustering prerequisites, and then uh, you, uh, you know you have a deployer also to be installed there, right? So have entire process and replication factor, search factor. See if you observe here, if you talk about if you learn about search at clustering, there's one more question of replication factor and search factor will also be covered, right? So talk, uh, learn about this uh, entire process of search at clustering and index clustering, and that is where you will understand replication factor and search factor as well. Okay. The point here is uh, in search at clustering, you only uh, have to meet the replication factor, but in search at clustering, you have to uh, you have to meet both replication and search factor. Okay, so that is what it is. Okay, that is one more important question. And then, if I if I if I move forward, like here, you know, they, they are talking about how do you push the apps using deployment server. Okay, in deployment server, you will be pushing the apps, right? How do you do that? And what is the process that you follow? Okay, so how do you push the apps using deployment server? It is also one of the frequently asked questions. Okay, and then uh, you have, uh, in case uh, if you would have worked on uh, Splunk, uh, what do you call, a version, right? So how do you upgrade Splunk to a next version? Let's say if you are working on uh, 1.7.1.2 uh, or 7.1.3, how do you upgrade to 8.1.1 or 8.0.0, so whatever. Okay, how do you upgrade the Splunk version? It is also an important question, right? You have to uh, stop Splunk and take backup and then you know uh, have the process followed right from there so this this is also one of the uh, frequently asked questions okay that is one thing and after that it depends now if you are if you are uh, you know your profile talks about admin more or if your profile talks about uh, development responsibilities it is entirely uh, depending on the uh, your profile you know questions will be asked right so after that if i talk about a uh, couple of more questions you know which is uh, which are uh, frequently asked okay and uh, it, it is about how do you work on uh, db connect app right very very important question okay uh, what is db connect app and uh, how do you uh, work on a db connect app what are the files that will be used you know how do you push uh, the db connect okay these kind of questions okay db connect is also one of the uh, very important question when it comes to apps, uh, you know, apps point of view, right? So that is one thing. And after that, uh, you have to uh, you know, learn about buckets in Splunk, right? We all know uh, it is a very important process. Like uh, they will be uh, asking you what is the uh, configuration file will be used and what are the buckets in Splunk, 
you know which bucket is used uh, at, at uh, what time okay and uh, do i search the data in every buckets okay is there any bucket where you cannot search the data so this has got all these kind of questions covered right so have have uh, you know everything prepared uh, well prepared when it comes to uh, buckets as well okay splunk bucketing process also very very important okay and then uh, i think uh, uh, how do you change the domain password okay uh, these things okay how do you change uh, go to systems local and have the you know rename the file and change the password so this is uh, uh, maybe for admin this is very important you should be aware of the process of changing the admin password okay this is one more question maybe not frequently asked but uh, uh, this is actually uh, one of the one of the good questions uh, which you should be aware of as an admin okay so that is one thing and uh, yeah apart from that if you are good at uh, if you are working any of the uh, ikl process tools right let's say if you are working on uh, uh, the uh, uh, service now or any other uh, tools right so you mentioned that also you can uh, tell them we have tickets coming up p1 to p5 and uh, you know the majority of the times you are getting p3 or p4 or whatever so you can it depends on you i'm just giving you an example so it depends on your uh, uh, project uh, if you are good at something as zira service now whatever you can talk about that as well okay so i think uh, uh, maybe uh, these are the frequently asked questions and apart from this if i uh, talk about it i i spoke about clustering very very important and uh, maybe at the end uh, i would say uh, you know um, phone home interval okay where you will use uh, the uh, clustering i uh, mean not clustering in uh, while you pushing the apps to the requirement server okay so yeah i think uh, just few questions i have mentioned here maybe you can prepare more and have your interviews answered accordingly all right thank you very much i hope uh, this video video will help you to understand the frequently asked questions about splunk thank you once again